here is this beautiful creative project that completely engages you. You get to go out of the office and actually meet the people where they are. You get to explore one of the most beautiful, archaic mm. ex yeah. relationships. Mothers had no training in my era. And so in a lot of these interviews that I'm doing, people are saying, my mother didn't know what to do, but somehow she was a good enough mother to me and she let me be me. And even mothers who grew up in the South, who were very religious and very conservative, couldn't stop loving their son. I was in Istanbul a few years back and I gave a talk at a state university, which meant that there were gay men in the audience. And at one point, as I finished the talk, one of the men starts to ask me a question. And he says to me, he says, the reason I'm asking this to you today is because I'm planning to come out tonight. I'm going on a trip tomorrow and I have decided to meet with my, um, with my father. What happened was that why was it so critical the father? He says, my mother, when she knows, she will not have a problem to continue love me. Mm -hmm. My father, when I tell him, it yes. will probably be the last time he touches me. Ah, frequently, the mother's role is to help kind of bring these opposite sides together. There is a, a power and warmth in this topic. I recently interviewed an 18-year-old boy and his mother, he just spoke so candidly and so beautifully about his love for his mother, he started weeping. And she had no idea that he felt this way. We don't speak as candidly with our parents as we probably ought to. Yeah, we wait till they're on their deathbed. Right. I'm encouraging all therapists to really pay close attention to the power of their relationships, both with their mothers and with their fathers.